Hello everyone and welcome for a new tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna make a tray, a resin tray. Uh, I'm gonna use the Mrs. Colorberry resin, uh, the resin for art. Uh, if you want to order it's on her website or uh, if you are from Canada or USA uh, I will link the, um, everything in the description. So uh, we're gonna start by putting some gloves and uh, using, I'm using um, a measuring cup, sorry, uh, yeah, so for this tray I'm gonna use uh, 300 of resin, so 200 of resin and 100 of uh, hardener here, so let's start. and 100 of hardener here so this resin have a 2 to 1 uh, ratio uh, but it's you need to mix it by volume and not by weight so now I'm gonna use the mix master it's a silicon spatula really helpful to get um, a really good mix and you can here you can scrape the edge of the cup to be sure the the hardener and the resin is perfectly mixed so now I'm gonna mix for three minutes and I'll uh, see you after this now that my mix is done I'm going to separate, uh, divide, sorry, my resin in four pots. Uh, we're going to have some dark blue, some teal blue here, some white, just a little bit of white, and some gold. So, here, the blue gonna do equal part of dark blue and teal for the white and for the gold so now I can start Cleaning this with a tissue paper. And then with some alcohol, you can remove all the resin. Then you can reuse the spatula forever. Let me see, it's clean. So put this apart. So now we're we're gonna mix our colors here. So I'm gonna start by the by the dark blue. Uh, this one is the Karat Midnight by Mrs. Colorberry. It's a powder. You can see it's a dark blue and I'm gonna use also the forever sticks is some plastic flexible sticks that you can reuse because the resin won't stick on it so you let the resin dry and you can reuse them so up and here some blue I have my dark blue here and 
I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of a gate blue. It's, the, it's a different pigment, it's the pigment paste. And, uh, it helps to get some effect and um, I like to have one color mixed with pigment paste and one color mixed with um, only pigment powder because it gives some special effects and it, it will lighten a little bit my blue yeah So now this color is done, we're gonna make the teal color. So this color I will only use the teal pigment. Here same with, with my mixing tool. Here. You don't need that much but I like my colors to be bright and opaque. So here's the quantities I use. Now you have a beautiful greenish blue, a teal blue. Yeah. I'm gonna now make my white. So it is the crystal white pigment paste from Mrs. Corberry. Just a little bit like this. With the paste, you can scrape the color in on the edge of the cup to be sure your color is well mixed with the, in the resin. You can check the opacity of it. is done and now we're gonna make some gold I'm gonna use the pale gold pigment paste also from Mrs. Colorberry so mix 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 here a good amount of this see here all my colors are done my goal is ready my tail my blue and my white so we're back here and uh, I'm gonna pour my colors the first two colors I'm gonna pour is the dark blue and the teal blue So yeah, what I like to use is a palette knife to play with my resin and make it go just right above the edge of my tray, like so. And yeah. So now I'm gonna pour my teal. I like to go over my my two pigment with the palette knife it will give some gorgeous effect you will see so with my palette knife you see I go over and over my color I swipe my resin 
up and down. So now I'm gonna use my heat gun. So uh, I'm gonna play with the resin and see what effects I will have between the, the teal and the blue. Yeah, see? So now you can see here I got some cells forming between the two colors. So now I'm gonna add some gold because I love gold. I have some tiny strings like it just I'm gonna scrape over the resin lightly with my gold like this. See? slightly move my gold with my heat gun Here. yeah for the final touch I'm gonna put some white again some white strings Just scrape my white like this. I like to play with my resin like so and add some dot now I think I'm done don't over mix your resin in the tray because you will end up with a mess so I'm just gonna add some tiny dots of um, of turquoise blue of teal blue sorry just because I like to add some dots see So what, what, can, what you can also do is to add some dimension, so I will use some alcohol and an old toothbrush, so you put some alcohol on the brush, don't use too much, okay? Here, and lightly spray on the gold part. It will create some little cells. It's 
not a big difference but you can have cells like this yeah. so now it's done I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard and cover my piece here you can check there any large dust with a, a pick, a wood pick, but it's okay because I'm gonna put another layer of clear resin after this because I'm gonna add some gold details and uh, put a clear layer on top. So now I'm gonna cover my piece with with an old cardboard. And yeah, that's it for today. Our resin is cured and we're back the second day, the next day. Uh, yeah, so here you can see uh, what alcohol did. Just slightly um, cells, just, yeah, you see here. So. Not that happy with the gold here. There's too much gold for me. So uh, I got uh, tips for you uh, to change the colors and make it more transparent and more, and you get more depth in your resin art piece. So uh, these tips is to use uh, inks. See here, I used the uh, Mrs. Colorberry inks, but you can use any inks on top of the resin. But if you do that, you you will need to to put another coat of resin to protect everything. So let me show you. I use a regular brush. I will put some blue here. See, yeah. See, you can change the color and add depth in your piece just by using ink. Here, you can take a, a, a tissue paper and blend your color. See here. I will also add some green so you can add here green here I put my green here and dab with my tissue paper some blue here you can do this also on colors to change the tint of the colors to add some colors to a piece that you don't really like or yeah you can play with inks and and change the colors and add some interesting effect in it so here on this part too If you think you, you've had too much color or uh, you've made a mistake, you can go back and use alcohol to clean your resin and start over. Uh, this, this is not a problem. Uh, 
uh, since my gold is not showing that much uh, I've decided to add some gold uh, details linings uh, for this uh, I'm using the carat gold the carat gold it's the pigment powder gold pigment powder uh, mixed with some uh, binder and uh, medium acrylic medium you can use uh, a varnish an acrylic varnish or um, uh, what do you what you can use uh, a gel medium um, something acrylic and uh, uh, transparent acrylic uh, medium or a varnish and then you mix it with a uh, with the gold pigment and you will have um, a great uh, gold paint see really pigmented and opaque so yeah here really better than than just regular gold paint and uh, it costs less than gold paints see Let me show you the result. You can clearly see the, the blue and the green ink here. So obviously we'll, we will need to put another coat of resin, a clear coat of resin, because uh, you will see here the messy part and non shiny part. Uh, it's not great and you will need to protect all the ink and uh, gold you've had it so uh, I will pour another coat of clear resin and uh, and protect everything to have a beautiful finished tray we're back it is day three now uh, I've already put my uh, second coat of resin uh, a clear coat, a finishing coat on my tray and uh, now it's done I will need to wait uh, three to four days before putting anything on it because the resin is not fully fully cured but yeah here is the, the result of the tray we have a really glossy flat resin on top and here you can see transparency the ink does to the gold and gives a um, beautiful reef look like the sea with the waves and I love also the gold lines here here in the sun so yeah it is now finished I didn't film the second coat uh, of resin because it's always the, the same thing, it's just a clear coat uh, in the tray. If you want to go further and learn how to achieve a perfect resin top coat uh, on every surface like uh, canvas, uh, wood board, on, uh, in a tray, uh, you can go now on my website, I have an e-guide for you. Uh, it's a downloadable uh, PDF of 20 pages. Um, yeah, it's available in French and English. Hope you have learned something new today in my tutorial.
feel free to share, like and subscribe my video. Uh, you can comment uh, if you have any question or if you like my video. It's always a pleasure to meet you and uh, see you soon for another video. Bye. Bye guys.